So we're catching the bus number three into the town centre from St Antonio de Portomeni and we're going to see the amazing castle and have a look around the town centre. So let's go. <laughs> finally arrived in Avisa and uh, yeah we passed a quite a quirky lanes and a nice uh, little town St Joseph so we're in a main city now and it's absolutely busting vibrant place and you're gonna find all the big bars restaurants supermarkets they're all here and we're gonna cross the road and go and have a look at this fantastic park oh we're having a bath lovely eh can't be a nice little bath on a day like the day Absolutely beautiful little park. Absolutely gorgeous, eh? If you're a cactus lover, wow, got some all sorts going on here. Fantastic park for the kids, that's for got sure. Got everything in this city, innit, eh? There's lovely bars. A little shopping centre there, traditional food market. If you like palm trees, look at this one here. Yeah, busy old city, that's for sure. And we have come across the big town, oh yeah. A visa town. Loads and loads of bikes here, that's for sure. It's a scooter town, isn't it, Ibiza? Yeah. Everywhere you go, there's a load of scooters. All the tables laid out. Got all the washing out, look at that, eh? It's too dry in this weather. You definitely need a scooter if you want to come to this place. Very pretty, isn't it? I mean, look at these lovely little apartments just above the shops here. Great. Well, we've got the gym area as well. So we're making our way to the castle, which of course, it's always going to be up and hill. So there's going to be a little panting going on. So a long way up. So, yep. This castle, a visa, is literally around the corner from you. See, yeah, Villa Isabel was along here and all. Now, how did they get up there and do this picture of a snake? So the wife was on sat nav duties and uh, we walked up hills, up steps, and uh, yeah, just up here we come to the university. Lucky enough, we bumped into some people who speak a little bit of Spanish, a little bit of English, and told us exactly what direction to go. So we're gonna go right back down the hill and start again. Well, the great thing is, 
when you're actually out doing videos you're exploring the old city so yep we're back down now for the bars and restaurants and now we're gonna go and check out this castle sat in every set here we go definitely a pretty little place though isn't it eh? look at that eh? all these lovely little rustic bars probably rustic prices I'm there to sit down and have a drink I've got to have a drink soon ah there they are. I can see it in the distance going to get some fantastic views once we get to the top of this castle that's for sure well the sat night well the sat night for the guide is actually behind me she obviously knows that I know where I'm going now so lots of walking though Make sure you put your trainers on when you do come up this place because you're going to be needed. It's definitely a steep climb, that's for sure. We've even got railings on the side to grab onto. That's how steep it is. Yeah, we're definitely getting closer. And we've got the Museum of Art here as well. If you're into museums, it's on the way. People are gathering and also I can spot the cannons. So we're definitely at one of the lookout points. And just down now, you're back at the old square again. There we go, and that's where we're ready to. And the wife's lagging behind, and she was a sat nav guide. Some people have cheated and got a taxi up. It's not good, is it, eh? You do need to burn the calories. And there, as you can see, the big boat over there, the old uh, cruise liner, looks like. And the good thing is when you're high up, you get to see everything below. You don't miss out on that. Exploring. Hey Visa, and I'll tell you what, it's a definitely a mixture of all sorts here, isn't it, eh? Doesn't look cheap, but there is one for sale over there. I dread to think the price of it, though. You want that far to go to the bar, though, right to the bar. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it, eh? This is here. Scorching hot day, 30 degrees. That has a big roar. The old blast went of the old boat leaving, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's a great uh, place if you want a picture with a cruise ship in the background. The old famous MSC. It's a great uh, backdrop, that's for sure. Look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it, eh? It's definitely worth the trip up here. And there uh, we are one leaving as well now. Yeah? There you go. It's on its way up. It's just a tiny little cove down here as well. A turquoise water. Got the little lighthouse just there on the rock. Uh, yeah, someone's just coming into land. So we've got the big cruise liners, and then we've got the million end yachts. So we've got a party boat going out, and we've got a little cargo boat coming in from Formentera. Ah, that's a lot of washing on the line, isn't it, eh? Must be a month's worth. Well, that's a cheap ass game. Ain't got a roof, though. So yeah, we're up by the cannons now. Look at these mean beasts, eh? And they're pointing it right down. And it's where we come up, all the way from down here, believe it or not. It's a good 15 minute walk. Make sure you have your trainers, that's the only tip I can give you. But when you get here, it's definitely worth it, just for the views. So yeah, this is a little video, down from Portemani up to the main city part of Ibiza Castillo Visa if you've been at this place let us know at the bottom what you think of it fantastic isn't it definitely worth coming up here just for the pictures